comic chest. Comic book store to your door. Got another unique fun theme for this month. It's heaven and hell. Kind of excited to see what the hell we're gonna get. Here's the contents of your comic chest. Let you know what's in there. Heaven and hell, right there. Personally written, thank you. First thing I'm noticing is a flyer for next month. And I'm definitely getting it because I already got it. <laughs> I ordered two comic chests at once because you can do that if you feel like it. And I did. And next month is strong female characters. There you go. Looking forward to that. That was a really good throw. Oh, you didn't have to. You didn't have to. They gave me my favorite. Yellow Starburst. Those are the best. First covers trading card series. This is a cover of a comic book that they turned into a card. Uh, Fallen Angels. This guy's from 1987. Awesome. Oh, they threw us some spawn cards. Jumping right into that hell theme. Dude. What's this? What's this shit? I know I've mentioned this before, but what I love about Spawn is the creator, Todd McFarland. He's always so extra. Like, he couldn't just make Spawn cards that were a regular size. They have to be like half a card longer than a regular card. Here, see that's a regular card versus a Spawn card. <laughs> Hardcore! It almost looks like Spawn's sneaking up on the Violator, I think. As the big guy, my bolja. That's uh, Spawn's version of uh, Satan, I guess. Hell! Billy Kincaid could probably uh, take a few laps. Billy's new best friend. All right, getting himself a suit there or something. A magical lesson. Spawn getting some magic lessons, do magic trick. I forget this dude's name. You know that dude? Well, looks like he's about to get in a fight of some sort. And you got Spawn, he's in trouble. These demons are getting the upper hand, oh no! Hey, oh, I remember this guy. Do you guys remember Twitch, the detective? Looks like he's uh, saving Spawn there. That's fun. All right, notice how nice and neat everything is packed in the comic chest? Oh, well, it was. Knock out some more cards. Let's see what collectible cards they include. More spawn cards, yes. So in reality, I got like twice as many cards because spawn is so much bigger than regular cards. All right, let's fire through these ones. Another Mabolja. Spawn summoning a uh, Hadouken? Or possibly a Kamehameha Wave? Okay, this is my favorite card. It's Mr. Clown transforming into the Violator. That's dope. Spawn saving a guy. Yeah, saving people. You got Angela. She's in a few Todd McFarlane things. Her armor doesn't really make sense, does it? And you got the Violator. Looks like he's on the tail end of an ass whooping. That was a lot of Spawn cards. I like that. Nicely labeled, handwritten, feels personal. I love it. Everything's individually wrapped, feels like Christmas, every box. <laughs> so yeah, see? That's what's up. Archangel! I should have guessed that this would be in the heaven and hell theme, you know? Did he flap his wings? He flaps his wings! So, if you know X-Men, you might know Archangel or Angel. Doesn't really got much going on. And then Apocalypse. And then you got Apocalypse. He chooses Angel to be one of his four horsemen and turns him into Archangel. I'll see if I can find a clip from the uh, 90s X-Men. <laughs> I've got that Apocalypse voice like ringing into my head. He's like, <laughs> Looking for me, my prodigal son? For the last time! Angel is now Archangel and his wings are metal and shit. And he can fire off deadly feathers. Yeah. Deadly feathers. Anyway, Archangel always looks cool. Here. Archangel, baby. Yeah, that's dope. When's this from? 1991. That's wild. Look at him go. Look at him flap those wings. Uh oh. Do you have any idea what this is? Any clue what hero clicks are? Well, no worries, because I'm gonna tell you. 
Hero Clicks is this awesome little game that you play on your tabletop with your nerdy friends. They got this little clicker on the bottom of the base of these little action figures that you play with. You roll some dice and then you face off one on one. And then you just battle it out till the other person's got no clicks left. Hero Clicks! It's fun. It's a fun game. I can't get enough of them. Alright. This is Fury. See that? Usually if the hero clicks fly or float, you get this little extender so they can, you know, hover. Look at those wings. Look at the details, man. Details. That's the clicker that you play with when you go head to head against other people. Got yourself uh, one of Darkseid's parademons. Says it's a parademon warrior here. Kinda looks like he's from Atlantis, if you ask me. This is magma. He's made of hot magma. I don't think I know this guy, but it's Duke. D-U-H-G. Duke. <laughs> Look at this demon looking motherfucker here. He's got the horns and shit. Nice. Duke. We got another vintage, so let's open that up. I'm excited. Fuck yeah. Nightcrawler. Yes. Ooh, this one's awesome. Nightcrawler is a great character, okay? There you go. Look at that. Look how cool that is. When is this? It's another one from 1991. How cool is Nightcrawler? That's the best part is he looks like a demon, okay? Looks like a demon, looks evil, looks scary, but he's super religious and just one of the best hearted characters there is. He's got a big ol' heart. He loves everybody. He doesn't want anything bad to happen to anybody. And he's always full of good advice. I love Nightcrawler. Bamf! Next up, collectible. Feels like a Funko. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> That's awesome. Bit of a deep cut of all the Funko Pops that I never would have guessed exist. This would have been up there. It's Cartman from South Park when he was in the boy band Faith Plus One. You guys remember that episode? Faith plus one. Now all you Funko box lovers out there, just uh, take a breath. It's all gonna be okay, all right? Everything's gonna be fine. Just wanna get a good look, you know? Just get a good look at Cartman here. I think I might have cut myself a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Never in a million years did I think I'd have a Cartman Funko Pop. This is awesome. And you know what? He's pretty wide. Cartman, coming off like he's a good dude here, but he is one of the most evil people in all of TV. There's the backside. He's got his little microphone there. See a little microphone? There you go. Yeah. Nice. Remember when Cartman had a bully and then he made his bully eat his own parents? Do you like it? Do you like it, Scott? I call it Mr. and Mrs. Tenement Chili. Oh my god! Oh my god! Evil. Cartman, you're going to hell. Yeah, right. Comic books. Every comic chest comes with 10 comic books, freshly bagged and boarded. They don't have to freshly bag and board them, but they do. Because they're a company that gives a shit about the customers. Hey, you got X-Men, a day in purgatory. Looks like they're going to purgatory for a day. There's Angel. This is Angel post when he was one of the four horsemen of Apocalypse. You might say this is Angel post-Apocalypse. This is the one I'm not really sure what it is. It's an image comic that I never heard of before. It's called Ascension. Yeah, Ascension. But that looks great. Looks a lot like Angel, doesn't he? Is that Angel? All about the font. Cover art's cool. Looks like this is our story arc. Another Ascension cover. Sweet. Another Ascension. He seems to be ascending in all these covers. Maybe his character's ascending, you know? Well, if I had to guess, I'd say that's a uh, Lady Angel. From what I could tell, Image Comics, your uh, angels don't typically like to wear a lot. Oh, hey, check this out. See that? They even include a comic grade card on the back. Let's you know what your comic book's worth on the streets. 
Looks like he's got some ascending going on in that hand. Getting himself nice and flamed in the hand. Cool. Grendel, God and the Devil. Ooh, this is cool. Yeah, really like this artwork. It's kind of like simplistic. Heaven and Hell going on there. But which one is evil, you know what I'm saying? Got another Grendel there. Really enjoying this artwork. And the colors are cool too. All about it. Ooh, we got a Lucifer comic. Lucifer. I don't know what's going on there. Not really sure what's going on there, but it looks like it's a fun-ass party. Ooh, then you got another one. A lot of flames going on there. Dude, setting off the flames, it looks like. Some flame stuff. Lucifer. Fun. And that is your comic chest. What can I say? It's the best. This was your heaven and hell theme. This box is awesome. Stuck with the theme. Everything was great. Individually wrapped. I feel like I'm taken care of. Shall we recap on what we got? Let me just pull this back out to double check. We got 10 comic books, one box collectible, two vintage action figures, a pack of hero clicks, and a pack of cards. We actually got a bunch of spawn cards and I'm all about that too. And that just about wraps it up for this video. If you want your own comic chest, there's links in the description. You can find it there. Typically they'll just ask you what you like. And then you tell them what you like. And then they take that and they put that shit in the box. It's a crazy business model to give your customers things that they like, right? Anyway, till the next time, all right? See ya, subscribe!